University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. With the quarterfinals looming, teams are dropping like flies. 18 have now been eliminated from the competition and the losing team tonight will join them. The winners will take the seventh spot in the quarterfinals and with it the chance to play at least twice more. The team from Kreis lulled their first-round opponents, Oriel College Oxford, into a false sense of security, letting them build up a considerable lead before taking six consecutive starters and the match. Along the way, they tied themselves in knots over cricket counties and Latin abbreviations, but they sailed through pretty much anything scientific, representing just about 550 students with an average age of 21. Let's meet the Christ team again. Hi, I'm Isaac Jackson. I'm originally from Oxford and I study English. Hi, I'm Holly Wright. I'm originally from Swansea and I'm reading for an MPhil in Intellectual History. And their captain? Hi, I'm Chris Talbot. I'm from Blackburn in Lancashire and I'm studying for a PhD in Metallurgy. Hi, I'm Abhimanyu Gowda. I'm from Warwick and I'm reading Natural Sciences. <laughs> Southampton were one of just four teams in round one who passed the 200-point mark against tough opposition from Balliol College, Oxford. Full marks on film, video games and factory equipment helped them to a final score of 210, which could have been even higher if not for a handful of near misses on fine art, poetry and popular music. Playing again on behalf of 22,500 students with an average age of 25, let's meet the Southampton team for the second time. Hello, my name is Ethan Lyon, I'm from Northampton and I'm studying for a PhD in film. Hi, my name's Magda Steele. I'm originally from Poland and I'm studying for a PhD in ecology. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Don Belcher. I'm from Worcestershire and I'm studying for a PhD in machine learning. Hi, I'm Elliot Miles. I'm originally from the Wirral and I'm studying for a master's in marine biology. <laughs> OK, the rules haven't changed. They're the same as ever. So, fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. I want the title of a painting here. The figures within it have been said to, quote, rise, fall, extend and intertwine as they appear to whisper, yell, grieve and debate around Jesus. Christ's right. Garnica. No. You lose five points. And debate around Jesus, who sits serenely in the centre. The working question was completed in the 1490s and is housed in Milan. Southampton Belcher. The Last Supper. The Last Supper is correct. You get a set of bonuses on the Teddy Award at the Berlin Film Festival, which is presented to films on LGBT topics. The first Teddy Award was awarded in 1987 to which Spanish director for his film The Law of Desire? His first major commercial success came the year after, with women on the verge of a nervous breakdown. This is called... This is Pedro Almodovar. OK, I nominate? Yes, you've nominated line. Pedro Almodovar. Correct. Regarded as a pioneer of lesbian filmmaking, which director has won the Teddy Award for Best Short Film three times for Generations, Maya Deren's Sink and A Horse Is Not a Metaphor? This is a woman called Barbara Hammer. Barbara Hammer? Barbara Hammer is correct. Which film by Sebastian Lelio won the 2017 Teddy Award for Best Feature Film? Daniela Vega plays a trans woman dealing with the fallout of her partner's sudden death. This... I need a three-word title in either English or Spanish. Sorry. This is a fantastic woman. A fantastic... Okay. Uh, nominate line again. A fantastic woman. Fantastic woman is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. What three letters begin words with the following definitions? A salted cod, typical of Portuguese cuisine, a widespread group of microscopic organisms, an academic qualification at a university or one that is administered internationally... Bryce Talbot. B-A-C? B-A-C is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on constellations. The classical 48 constellations were originally listed by which Greek mathematician and astronomer of the 2nd century AD in his Almagest? Is that Ptolemy? 2nd oh. century AD. Yeah, is that Ptolemy? Could be Ptolemy? Ptolemy is correct, yeah. yes. Which 18th century French astronomer classified some 14 constellations in the southern hemisphere, many named after instruments including the compass and the telescope? Um, the French 18th century. Is it Messier? He did the catalogue. I don't know if he did. I don't have a yeah. better guess. So. Yeah. Messier. That's Lacaille. Yeah. 
In total, how many constellations are recognised by the International Astronomical Union? You can have three either way. <laughs> uh, man. No it's, idea. It's a lot. Um, shall I just pick a random number? Uh, so it's 41 originally, so... Yeah, I'm going to go with, like, 75. I don't know. Go for it. 75? No, it's 88, so <laughs> I can't accept that. Ten points for this. Nature does nothing without some purpose, and for the purpose of making man a political animal, she has endowed him alone among the animals with the power of reason and speech. Who wrote those words in his work entitled Politics? Price Jackson. Immanuel Kant. No one you want to bust uh, Southampton Belcher. Aristotle. Aristotle is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on towns in Cumbria. In each case, name the place from the description. Noted for its Georgian architecture, a port built by the Lowther family in the 17th century to transport coal to Ireland. The US Navy raided the town in 1778. Uh, port in Cumbria. Mm. I don't know. Sorry, I don't know. Morecambe. That's in Lancashire. Um, it's a bit further north. I don't have any. What's name one? Arnside? No, it's Whitehaven. A market town about 10 miles north of Shap's summit on the West Coast Main Line and the M6 motorway. Its name comes from Celtic words meaning headland by the ford. Um, what's up there? Um, There's two words, surely. I don't know. Um, I got nothing. No. Uh, Arnside. <laughs> it's Penrith. Oh. A few miles east of Windermere, the administrative centre for South Lakeland District. For many years, it was the home of the author and illustrator A. Wainwright. Oh. Alfred Wainwright. Um, yeah, I don't know. It might be Carlisle, but it, it might not. I don't know. I don't it, know. it might be further north. Carlisle? No, it's Kendall. We're going to take a picture round for your picture starter. You'll see a map with the location of an island indicated. For ten points, I simply want the name of the island. Right, right. Juju Island. Juju Island is correct. <laughs> you saw the location of Jeju Island, which is home to South Korea's tallest mountain, Mount Halasan. Your picture bonuses are maps showing three more islands which contain their country's highest peak. Name the country, not the island, in each case. Firstly... Um, that's Papua New Guinea, right? No, it's in the Caribbean. I've got some um, Papua <laughs> <laughs> Guinea. That's, that's Puerto Rico. Sorry. Um, I think, is that going to be um, St Kitts and Nevis? Sure. Oh, yeah, it has high points. Um, St Kitts and Nevis? <laughs> no, that's one of the special municipalities of the Netherlands. Oh. Mount Scenery on the island of Saba. <laughs> Secondly, the country this mountain belongs to, its highest peak outside of its claimed Antarctic territory. Does Is it, that it, Bouvet Island? I, I, no, 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 no Bouvet Island's not. more south. I think oh, this might be the French territories. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, France? No, it's Australia. It's Mawson Peak on Heard Island. And finally, the country this mountain belongs to... Oh, that's Spain, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, no, the, it's Portugal. It's the Azores. Oh, it's the Azores. Oh, oh, is it Azores? It's, okay, yeah, yeah, sorry, it's been zoomed out from yeah, over yeah. there. Um, Portugal? It is Portugal, yes, well <laughs> done. In the Azores. Right, ten points for this. This is a question about geometry from a result known as Cauchy's theorem. If a regular dodecagon is inscribed within a circle of one unit radius, the area of the dodecagon is equal to what integer value? Uh, Southampton Belcher. Three. Three is correct. These bonuses are on proteins. Found in the muscle cells of animals, what protein functions as an oxygen storage unit, providing oxygen to working muscles? Actin? Is that creatin? Oh. Because actin, actin and myosin are like the... OK, go for creatin. Ones. It could be creatin. Creatin? I, yeah, I think that's how you say it. Creatin? No, it's myoglobin. Oh, the second most common oxygen transporting protein in nature is hemocyanin. This uses what metal to carry oxygen in the blood of arthropods and mollusks? Copper. Yeah, it's copper. Yeah. Copper. Copper is correct. What gas has more than a 200-fold greater affinity for haemoglobin than oxygen and hence causes symptoms such as dizziness and disorientation, oh. even at relatively low concentrations? Nitrogen. Carbon monoxide. Isn't it carbon monoxide? Yeah, I I thought it was that. Carbon monoxide? Carbon monoxide is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. For what do the letters S and R stand in the term SR theory? Proposed by the US psychologist Edward Thorndike, it proposes that all human behaviour is learned 
based on the relationship between the signal and the reaction to that signal. Press Talbot. Social recognition. No, any you want to buy some Southampton? Southampton Steel. Stimulus response. Stimulus response is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on a Nobel laureate. In October 2021, which investigative journalist became the first Filipino individual to win the Nobel Peace Prize, sharing it with the Russian Dmitry Muratov? I saw the name. I don't know the name. Uh, uh, no, I don't know. No. Sorry. Can we even guess? No. no. I, I really can't. Pass. That was Maria Ressa. Ressa is a co-founder of which news website? Its symbol is a white capital R in a red circle. Uh, Reuters? Reuters. Reuters yeah, is Reuters. quite old. Um, I mean, it, I, it might be, but I don't know. I have nothing better, so... Reuters? That's no, Rappler. Rappler has faced relentless attacks from which head of state? Amnesty International states that he incites killings and the climate of impunity across the Philippines. Is it Duterte? Is, is that still the leader? Duarte, did you say? Is it Duarte or Duterte? Ago? I think it's Duarte. Du 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 no, I don't know. I, I think it's Duarte. I thought it was Duterte. I thought it was Duterte. Yeah. Right, go for Duterte? That. Duterte is correct. <laughs> Ten points to this. What objects were previously made using the cloverleaf technique, later superseded by a process that compresses two rubber half shells with a vulcanised seam. They have a diameter of 6.54 to 6.86 centimetres. And in 1972... Ah. Southampton, Belcher. Cricket balls. No, you lose five points. The use of yellow coloration. Rice ah. scalder. Tennis balls. Tennis balls is correct, yes. <laughs> you give us any bonuses on Welsh spelling. In each case, give the two letters that represent the following sounds. Firstly, what two letters represent the sound known in phonetic terms as voiceless uvular fricative? These two letters appear at the end of Welsh words meaning thanks and little. So, um, CH. 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 Okay. CH. CH is correct. What two letters represent the voiceless labiodental fricative? These two letters begin the name of a narrow gauge railway base at Port Maddock. Is it double F? Is, uh, L? Is that, is, that, is that the double L? Uh, what, what, yeah, what I think it is double L. Okay. It's, yeah. <laughs> double L? No, it's double F. Oh, ah. sorry. What two letters represent the voice dental fricative? The sound appears at the end of Welsh words meaning bard or poet and D -D. free. The two Ds. D -D. Double D. D? Double D is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. A transmitted substance of nerve impulses within the central and peripheral nervous systems. What is the chief neurotransmitter of the parasympathetic... Uh, Southampton Beltran. Acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is correct. <laughs> you get the set of bonuses on an ancient Greek explorer. The author of the lost work on the ocean, which navigator voyaged from the Greek colony of Massalia to Britain and Ireland in the late 4th century BC? No idea. No, I don't. No, no idea. Xenophon? No. no, it was Pythias. Pythias stated that extremities of Britain included Orcas, Cantian and Balerion. The last of these is identified with which present-day county? Uh, so an extreme. Um, might be Cornwall. Cornwall. Maybe. Cornwall isn't a bad shout. Yeah. Cornwall. Cornwall is correct. Pythias went further north, bringing back the first known report of the midnight sun. This would require reaching at least what latitude north to within a degree? I don't know. Where's, like, the Arctic Circle? Um, in Scotland, Gavacle. Oh, it's like 23 and a half, I think. Could you go for that then, maybe? The Arctic Circle. But Lower. that's not in the Lower UK. Though. Well, if we go down a bit, you say 28. like 28. Okay. Yeah. 28. It's 66. <laughs> 10 points for this. We're going to take a music round now. You're going to hear an excerpt from an opera by a French composer. 10 points if you can give me the composer's name. Southampton Belcher. Dilib. No. I'm going to give you the whole thing, Grice. Talbot. Berlioz. No, it's by Debussy. So, music business is in a moment or two. Ten points at stake for this. After 1850, the discovery of ironstone on Eston Beacon resulted in the rapid growth of which town, thought to be named for its position roughly halfway between holy sites at Durham and Whitby, it is the largest town in the Teesside metropolitan area. Ah. 
Southampton Belcher. Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough is correct. <laughs> right, you heard an excerpt earlier from Peleasse et Melisande, which is Debussy's only completed opera. Your music bonuses are three more works that are the only examples their composers completed in a particular form or genre. Firstly, name this French composer. This is from his only symphony. Uh, the French composer did one symphony. And Satie, possibly. Although it doesn't sound like Satie. Do you think? Someone, it's, it's later, because it's a bit discordant, so someone may be like, I don't know, Massenet, maybe, or Messian. What do you reckon? Um, um, go Messian. Uh, nominate line. Messian? Messian is correct. Oh, well, Secondly, this is from the only full-length ballet by which German composer? Strauss is Austrian, isn't it? Um, it's Richard. Austrian. Oh, I don't know. But by which I mean Richard Strauss. Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't remember if he's German or Austrian. So Austrian composers. Did Mozart only do one ballad? Yeah. It does also. It's got that sort of swell to it. I would go Mozart personally. German. Oh, it's just, uh, Doesn't know. Uh, Hindemith, maybe. Germans. Strauss is my best guess. Yeah. Richard Strauss. No, it's Beethoven. That was the creatures <laughs> of Prometheus. <laughs> and finally, this composer. This is his only concerto. What, what country are we in? Germany. Get told. Yeah, any. Sanson. Sanson is a bad shout. Sanson. Yeah, go for it. Sanson. No, that was by Sibelius. Who painted all of these works for ten points? Virgin of the Counselors, Virgin and Child with Counselor Roland, Man in a Red Turban, and the Prince Talbot. Jan van Eyck. Jan van Eyck is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on Test cricket grounds in India. The largest stadium in the world is in which city in Gujarat? Oh. Gandhi's march against the salt tax began here in 1930. <laughs> no, the capital is Gandhinagar of Gujarat. But, um, is that where he started out with the city? I don't know where they did that, but Gandhinagar makes sense because Gandhi and salt march. I mean, can I nominate you? Yeah, go for it. Uh, nominate Gowda. Gandhinagar? That's our Of course. In which city in the Union Territory is the Punjab Cricket Association's IS Bindra Stadium? The city was planned by Le Corbusier and completed in the early 1960s. The new Chandigarh, I think. OK. But I'm not sure. Go for Chandigarh. Um, nominate Gowda. Chandigarh. Chandigarh is correct. Which city is the location of India's National Cricket Academy and the M. Chinnaswamy Stadium? It is the that's, state capital of Karnataka. That's Beng uh, Bangalore, Bangalore. Bangalore. Bangalore, yeah. Bangalore. Bangalore is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Dating from 1835, O'Brien's Tower is an observation point on which range of sheer sea cliffs in the Burren region of County Clare? Ah. Southampton Belcher. The Cliffs of Moher. The Cliffs of Moher is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on titles. Voyage, Shipwreck and Salvage are plays in Tom Sopper's 2002 trilogy known by the title The Coast of What? Uh, OK, Coast no, of... No, I got nothing. The only thing I can think of is something like the coast of Spain, maybe, or the coast of England. Um, to... Coast oh. of coast of England, I suppose, because it might be something to do with um, Spanish. I can add that, yeah. England? No, it's the coast of Utopia. Oh. Utopia Avenue is a recent novel by which British author also noted for Ghost Written and Black Swan Green? No idea. No. British author. Recent British author. Uh, Rank not Ian Rankin, maybe? No, why would it be Ian Rankin? Um, I don't know. Yeah, okay, just give an answer. Yeah. Smith. <laughs> it's David Mitchell. Oh, right. And finally, Anarchy, State and Utopia is a 1974 work by Robert Nozick <laughs> that advances what political doctrine? Uh, is it anarcho-communism uh, anarcho or anarcho-capitalism? No, he's, he's a bit of a capitalist. Um, so is it anarcho-capitalism? Well, li liberalism, free markets. Oh, come on. Liberalism. I'll accept that. Yes, it was libertarianism, which is an extreme form of liberalism. <laughs> Ten points at stake for this. Meaning to contemplate, consider deeply, or turn over repeatedly in the mind. What verb derives from a Latin word meaning to chew the cud? Southampton Belcher. Mole. No, anyone want to buzz from Christ? Christ Talbot. To remonstrate. No, it's to ruminate. Ten points for this. Pashtu and Dari. 
The latter, a variety of Persian, are the most widely spoken languages of what country? Christ right. Afghanistan. Afghanistan is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on period three elements, that is, those in the same row of the periodic table as sodium. With a melting point around 112 degrees Celsius, which of the period three elements is extracted using the fresh process? One of its common allotropes is a cyclic molecule containing eight atoms. Sulfur. 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 Sulfur is correct. Which period three element is found in the crystalline compound carborundum? Used as an abrasive. It has the highest melting point of those in period three. Aluminium. Is it aluminium? So it's it's sodium, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, yeah, sulfur. Yeah, is it aluminium or silicon? Because aluminium doesn't have a high melting point. OK, so... So it's silicon. Oh. As in, it's like silicon... Come paper. on. Silicon? Silicon is correct. Yeah. Which of the elements of period three has the lowest melting point at around minus 189 degrees Celsius? Phosphorus, chlorine, argon, surely. Is it argon, chlorine? It's going to be argon. It's surely argon. Argon? Argon is correct. <laughs> We're going to take another starter question. Ringer and Tor are variations of what game played traditionally on Good Friday, whose world championships are held at Tinsley Green in West Sussex? Southampton Miles. Bridge. No. Bryce Talbot. Tiddlywinks. No, it's marbles. Ten points for this. Give any one of the three seven-letter anagrams whose meanings are, respectively, closest, oriental and serious. Southampton Belcher. Easton. Easton is correct. Ernest and nearest of the others. <laughs> right, you get a set of bonuses this time on a profession. In Banksy's recent work, Game Changer, a child discards Spider-Man and Batman models, choosing instead a superhero in the uniform of which profession? Is it like a doctor? Yeah, no. Uh, that would make NHS. sense. I think it was NHS-based. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Maybe. I guess. A doctor? No, it's a nurse. Oh, sorry. Which Latin American artist painted Russian nurse while receiving medical treatment in the Soviet Union in the 1950s? It portrays a woman in a distinctive red headdress. Is that Carlo? Carlo? Carlo is the American. best guess I have in terms of yeah, Latin. It could be one of the self-portraits. Yeah. Frida Carlo? No, it's not. It's Diego Rivera. <laughs> Part of a circle that included Rivera, who painted Red Cross Woman Nurse. The artist in question took Mexican citizenship in 1962. Oh, uh, I think that's Leonora Carrington. Oh, OK, yeah. I think, yeah she did take... Pretty, she was in Mexico for the last yeah. period of her life. Leonora Carrington? No, it's Elizabeth Catlett. Oh. We're going to take a picture round for your picture starter. You'll see a photograph of two scientists. Give me the surname they both share. Uh, Southampton Miles. Bragg. Bragg is correct. <laughs> William Henry Bragg and his son, William Lawrence, they shared the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1915. That is the only time a Nobel Prize has been shared by a parent and child. But for your bonuses, you're going to see three examples of parents and children who have both separately won Nobel Prizes. Five points for each you can identify. I want the surname firstly here. Oh. Who's ones? Not Crick. They're, they're not necessarily science, are they? Um, oh, yeah, just that is Nobel. True. Um, um, I don't know, though. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyone got any guesses? No. Well, name an early uh, Nobel winner. Pauling. No, that's Thompson. No. J.J. Thompson, George Paget Thompson, the physics Nobel in 1906 and 1937. Secondly, the surname of these two. Oh. Um... Are they going to be, like, literature or peace or something? I thought they were economics. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Um, I don't know who was one that much, though. Um, I don't know. Anyone? Smith, maybe? Smith. Someone? No, they're Bohr's. Oh, right. Niels and Arwe Bohr, okay. who won the Nobel Physics Prize in 1922 and 1975, respectively. Finally, the full names of both scientists pictured here. These are the Curies, right? Yeah, what's, yeah what's Curie. the daughter Curie and... name? So Mary Curie is one. What's the daughter called? I don't know. Oh, is it similar? Is it like Marianne? Oh, maybe. I'm not sure of that. Um, Murray and Marianne Curie. It was, of course, Marie Curie and Irene... Joliot Curie. Okay. So I'm afraid I can't give you the points there. Ten points for this. 
The letters CMI stand for which Mathematics Institute formed in the USA in 1998? Southampton Belcher. The Clay Mathematics Institute. Correct. Your bonuses are on British and Chinese history. In each case, I will name a British monarch or monarchs, and you will give me the Chinese dynasty that spanned the period of their rule. Firstly, Rodri the Great, King of Gwynedd. Oh, OK, I don't know. This is going to be like... So this is... Uh, this it's is going to be pre-10th like, century. Pre-10th century. Tang Dynasty. Tang Dynasty is what I was going. Like, yeah, Tang Dynasty was what I was, like, going, yeah, Tang Dynasty was what I was thinking, to be honest. Sounds good. Tang. Correct. Second, the Scottish kings, Kenneth II, Macbeth and Alexander II. I need a single word answer. OK, so we're, we're later, so I guess it's probably the Song. Yeah, go for that. Yeah, that would I guess. The Song Dynasty. Correct. Nice. And finally, the English monarchs Henry V, Richard III, and Elizabeth I. Oh, oh this is uh, going to be the uh, Ming dynasty. Yeah, because yeah, it's before Qing. Ming. Ming is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Containing only three chapters, the Old Testament book of Nahum is devoted to a single theme, that of the fall of which Assyrian capital? Southampton Belcher. Nineveh. Nineveh is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on marine mammals. <laughs> the sea mammals classed as cetaceans include whales, dolphins, and which other major group? Its species include harbour, finless, and burmeisters. It's a porpoise. Okay. Porpoise. Porpoise. Porpoise is porpoise. correct. After a physical characteristic, what two-word name is given to the suborder Odontoceti? It includes river dolphins, porpoises, and beaked whales. Mm. I don't know. Two-word name for characteristic. Like bottle nose, nose, maybe? Bottle. Yeah, bottle that wasn't a bad show. Yeah, you can go, go, go for that. What did you say? Uh, well, because, like, the river Come dolphin on. is a long nose. Oh. Bottle. What do you think? But... Yeah, bottle. Oh, do you reckon Yeah, go for bottle. A bottle nosed? No, it isn't. It's toothed whales. Oh. Oh. Um. Monodon monoceros is a small toothed whale with what common name? Males have a long, straight tusk that projects forward above the mouth. It's narwhal. narwhal. <laughs> yeah, they're narwhal. Narwhal is correct, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. The order of time and seven brief lessons on physics are among works by which scientist born in Verona in 1956? Southampton Belcher. Pirisi. Anyone want to buzz from Christ? <laughs> so, Antigone, Christ College Cambridge have 90, Southampton have 175. Christ? We're going to say goodbye to you, I'm afraid. But uh, thank you very much for joining us. Congratulations, Southampton. Well done. We should look forward to seeing you in the quarterfinals. I hope you can join us next time for the last of the second round matches. But until then, it's goodbye from Christ College, Cambridge. Bye. Bye. It's goodbye from Southampton University. Goodbye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>